Introducing a new GAN RF device designed for power amplifier applications from DC to 1000 MHz. This GAN hemp delivers 180 watt CW minimum, about 250 watt typical in a small form factor. Contact us for samples and models. Welcome to WDD's Hotspot, sponsored by Wolfspeed. I'm Jennifer Delosa, Associate Editor, and in this week's episode we have the device helping children walk independently, Japanese robots offer companionship for commitment phobes, and NASA's spacecraft extends its solar arrays. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, almost 3 million children between the ages of 5 and 12 suffer from some form of disability, with many of them being physical. These conditions can also be emotionally and mentally difficult for children to overcome, especially at such an impressionable point in their lives. There's a new device that's been developed, which is designed to help children with physical disabilities. Known as the Trexo Plus, the device converts a passive walker into a fully powered robotic device that is completely mobile. The Trexo Plus has two wearable robotic legs that attach to any walker. The device allows its users to experience the sensation of walking independently using a piece of equipment they're already familiar with operating. The Trexo Plus has a variety of additional features and accessories that include a Wi-Fi connection, being battery powered, having an adjustable hip width and leg length, along with different frames that feature two angle options. The device can be used for children of all all ages and is suitable for a variety of different physical conditions. While the device isn't yet publicly available, interested parties can request a demonstration, along with other information regarding when the Trexo Plus will debut. NASA's InSight spacecraft passed a major production milestone. The lander fully extended its solar arrays that will provide power during its time on Mars. In preparation for its May launch and November landing, the team also conducted an illumination test, which verified the solar cells were able to collect power. Due to dusty conditions, a thin atmosphere, and Mars' distance from the sun, the fan-like array is well-suited for the mission's weak sunlight environment. The InSight Explorer will try to answer a fundamental question. How did terrestrial planets form? It will study the planet's deep interior using three geophysical instruments, measuring internal activity, temperature, and planetary reflexes. As a finishing touch, InSight will be carrying a microchip inscribed with more than 1.6 million names. This list will join additional names submitted by the public that were collected back in 2015, which now sit on top of the lander. In total, more than 2.4 million names will be traveling with InSight on its long journey. For those of you who love the idea of having a pet or a child but aren't prepared for the lifetime of work and commitment that come along with it, Japanese electronic powerhouses Toyota, Sony, and Yukai Engineering may have a solution with in-home companion robots. The Kirobo Mini from Toyota resembles a small child dressed in a space costume, but you can fit it in the palm of your hand. And unlike actual children, the robot comes with an off switch. The adorable robot is able to move its arms, wiggle while seated, and turn its head to address someone who is speaking to it. However, there is a catch. The Kirobo only speaks Japanese. The robot costs about 39,800 yen or about $350. If the animal kingdom is what really calls your name, there are a couple of robots that may suit you. Sony released a new and improved Aibo robot dog boasting OLED eyes that can give a more natural look. It also tilts its head and moves its hips in more varied angles. The robotic dog can bark and responds to voices, but Sony hasn't developed its artificial intelligence potential. Despite that, it costs 198,000 yen, or about $1,800. Finally, the Cubo from Yukai Engineering is a furry cushion with a robotic tail, but it doesn't have a face, making it suitable for cat and dog lovers alike. The tail moves when the Cubo is pet or tapped and can provide company to those looking for a cuddlier robotic pet. It costs about 10,000 yen or $90. That's all for this week's episode. Be sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and catch past episodes at wirelessdesignmag.com. For the WDD channel, I'm Jennifer Hooker. Thanks for watching.